G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be processing some bags of pay dirt that I've received from Greg and Michelle and uh, Greg and Michelle uh, recently did a trip out to Leonora in Western Australia in the gold fields and um, they got, yeah, they got some nice gold, they found a, quite a few nuggets and as well as that, they were kind enough to bag up some material in their travels around where they were prospecting and finding a bit of gold. They bagged up some of the some of the dirt, and um, yeah, and they've they've given it to me so I can process it and show you guys um, some gold. Well, if we get some gold out of this dirt, that is, because they don't know if there's gold in it or not. It's just samples that they've taken in the area that they were prospecting and finding nuggets. Yeah. Okay guys, first of all I'm gonna to have to, um, I'm gonna to have to sieve it out, put it through a sieve, and then I'll, each bag I'll, um, I'll pan it out and see if we get any gold. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the size mesh that I'm gonna be using um, to classify each bag, I'll do each bag separately. And it's just a matter of putting the dirt through the sieve. Then I'll pan out the smaller material. If I get anything in the finer material when I pan it out, then, then the oversize, I will crush it. Seeing any nuggets. There's a bit of mica in there. Let's see if I can show you on that stone there. There's a bit of mica in that rock. Yeah. Anyway, I'll set up the pan and um, I'll get back to you. Okay guys, pan number one from that sample number one. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we see if we can get any gold out of this material. And uh, thank you. Um, Greg and Michelle for, for thinking of me and, and taking these samples for me to to video and uh, and show everybody else. Yeah, that's uh, I really really appreciate it. Looks like a bit of black sand in there. Yeah, and as I said, Greg and Michelle, they just um, randomly picked up these samples from areas that they were prospecting, where they were finding some nuggets. Okay, guys. Let's have a look here. See if we can see all the black sand there. See if we can get a bit of gold out of this. Maybe some fine gold. Not seeing anything. Might be some super fine gold in that black sand. We want to be able to see some gold. Okay, guys, I'll do another pan. Okay, guys, pan number three of sample number one. And nah, nothing so far. Couldn't see any gold. But I've still got three more bags, three more samples yet. 
and all these um, samples, four samples, are all taken in different locations where Greg and Michelle were prospecting. Hopefully we might get a bit in this one. Might be a couple of specks of gold. Something that we can see in the pan. The black sand there. Okay guys. Let's have a look. Can I show you there's a speck of gold in this pan? We've got the black sand happening. There could be some um, microscopic gold in amongst this black sand, guys. I'm, a, I'm not going to really worry about that. I'll, I'm just going to go through all these samples and see if we can get some big specks that we can see, actually see, with the naked eye in the pan and there's nothing there okay so i'll move on to sample number two okay sample number two Sample number two, and this material is um, is like a uh, schist, a schist type rock, shaley schist. Yeah, and that's usually always good for for gold. Down here. Some big nuggets out of this material, guys. Wouldn't that be good? And same as um, the, that first sample, I'll just sieve it out, all the fines I'll pan out. If I get any gold out of the fines when I pan it, then I'll crush the oversize. Okay guys, I'll get back to you when I'm panning. Okay, pan number one of sample number two. This looks like really good material. So we might get some gold out of this lot. Hoping to show you some gold. Craig and, uh, sorry, Greg and Michelle would be um, interested too to see if there's any any fine gold in this material that they've picked up for me. Okay, let's have a gander here, guys. Where's the gold? No, nah, not seeing anything. Maybe some fine stuff. Yeah, okay, I'll do another pan. Okay, pan number three. Of sample number two. Um, nothing so far, guys. Nothing at all. Maybe some microscopic specks, but we're not looking for that. We're looking for, for bigger specks of gold that we can see in the pan. That's what we want. And this material has come from the gold fields of Leonora in Western Australia. So we should be in with a chance. We should be able to get a few specks in the pan. 
from one of these samples. Okay, let's see guys, let's see. Did we get a speck? No. But I think there is some, I can see some sparkly bits up the back of the pan, right at the back. I think that is gold, but microscopic. Okay, I'll do another sample. Okay. Sample number three. Get out of this one, guys. No good so far. But maybe one of these other two samples will have something for us. This is a more of a. Oh, it, it looks sort of like um, like a sand, sandstone type of material. Just the the colour of it like sandstone. Sort of a, a little fine clay, clay type material. Yeah, but, uh, it looks interesting. Oh, some of this stuff just breaks down. I just broke it down with my fingers. Yeah, just like the clay. But it's dry, so it breaks up. some nuggets and that stuff guys right out I'll get back to this okay pan number one of sample number three hey, and this is really clay clay material there was um there was a lot of balls of, uh, of clay in the in that sample I had to crush it up I just crushed it with me with my hands it was really soft that's where the gold can be trapped, guys, in those little clay balls. Anyway, we'll see how we go with this material. This is, uh, all these samples, as you, as you can see, they're all different. All different um, material type, types of soil and rock. So hopefully we might get something out of this lot, maybe. Be nice to get a, a little smile in the pan. I can see the black material starting to appear now. You can see the black sand in there. Okay. Okay guys, let's pan this back. I see all the black sand there. Quite a bit. Seeing some sparkly things in amongst the black sand, but I think if it is gold it's only microscopic. Nah. Nothing there, guys. Oh, well, I'll do another pan. I can see all these sparkly bits fla flashing around, but I don't know. It might be just real super microscopic gold, or it could be something else. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three of sample number three. And nothing so far, guys. No, not, a, not a single speck. Well, that I can see. I've got my reading glasses on and I can't see a single speck. There may be some micros in there, but I'm not interested in those. I just I want to see if there's, if there's good traces of gold in these samples. That's what we're looking for. There's... Um, Plenty of black sand in this material. 
the last couple of pans. Heavy black sand, but no sign of uh, any decent gold, any decent specs. Okay guys, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Can we get a big speck? Not looking good. No, nope. nothing. Only like I can see little flashes in there, microscopic. But um, I don't know. Anyway, I'll do some more pants. Okay, pan number six of sample number three, and nothing so far, guys. Uh, I had a look under my jeweler's loop. I could see a few very fine specks of gold, but microscopic, really small. So, so there, you know, the fine gold is here, is in the material, but super fine. We want to find some bigger pieces. Okay, let's see if we can get anything out of this one. We've got one more sample left. to do. Hopefully that's gonna, gonna show up some gold. This material here that I just panned out, it's like flour, like clay, but it's really fine like flour. And, uh, and it's got quite a bit of black sand in it. guys let's have a look here see if I can show you some gold see all the black sand heaps of black sand so we got heavies and super fine microscopic gold that's all that's in it all that I could see now nothing Okay, I'll um, I'll get the other the other the last bag, sample number four. I'll get that ready. Okay, sample number four, guys, and the last sample. This one. Get some plant material. This is um, it's got looks like granite there, and uh, I can see pieces of piece of iron, quartz. finish classifying this off and then I'll get back to you when I'm panning. Okay, pan number one of sample number four. And uh, you see how this goes. It, this material looked quite good. It had the quartz and iron stone and everything mixed in. So let's see how this one goes. Hopefully, hopefully we get something out of this one. Good to get a, just a, a few specs so I can show you. And also help uh, Greg and Michelle put them onto, a, onto another spot. Okay. 
Okay. Little black sand in there. Okay, guys. Let's see how we go with this one. Can Kevo show you some gold? See, I'll tell you what. I think I'm seeing something. Oh, I am. There's gold in this one, guys. Hallelujah. It was looking a bit sad there for a while. Not real big stuff, though. But, nevertheless, it's gold. And I can see it without my magnifying glass. Now, I don't know if you'd better say, I'm going to stuff all that black sand and I can see gold in there. There's gold just in there at the back of the pan. Real fine stuff, but I can see it which is um, more than I can see for the other samples. So this sample, Greg and Michelle, it's got the iron, the quartz in it. This is the stuff. It's got fine gold in it. Okay, I'll get back to this with another pan, guys. Okay, pan number three of sample number four. And yes, the last two pans, guys, gold. Gold in each pan. Just real small stuff, though. But there's enough of it in the in the uh, end of the pan once it's panned out there's enough of it in the pan you can see it so that's all we want we want to be able to see it hopefully I can show you it's a bigger piece it stands out a bit better Okay, okie dokie. Okay guys. Let's see if we can see a big piece of gold. I can see the gold, I can see it back in that black sand. You might be able to see it, but I'm hanging on to all that black sand with the gold in it, and then I'll, um, I'm snuffering it up, and then at the end I'll dump it all in the pan, I'll see if I can show you the gold with it all together. Okay, pan number five of sample number four, and the last pan, guys. Lucky last pan, and yep, gold in every pan. So every pan, I'll pan back, you can see the gold in the black sand. It's just the uh, the last bit of material in the pan. When I panned it back, you could see the fine material. No, nothing big though, no, nothing really big that stands out. But because there's a lot of it, a lot of small pieces, you can see them. Maybe when I tip out the snuffer bottle in the pan, you might be able to get an idea of the gold, hopefully. Okay guys, see if I can show you a big flake, see if I can show you a big flake of gold. Or is it just going to be fine stuff again? Just up the back of the pan, that's where the fine gold is. Yeah, I can see it. Really fine gold, guys. It's, uh, it's there, up in here in this black sand. It's real fine. But it's gold. Okay, I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Okay, guys, that's about as close as I can get with the camera. Um, I hope you can see it. I hope you can see that gold. It's really fine. 
really fine gold, but it's right in the in the back of the pan here. Okay, I'll get back to you at the wrap up. I almost forgot. Um, Greg and Michelle, they also brought back some rocks for me. This here, it's a abrasiated quartz in iron stone. It looks like. You see that yellow in there, that's that um, lime and light. This looks like really good rock to um, to crush. Yeah, so I'll do that another time. I'll crush this, this material up, crush it, pan it out and see if there's any gold in it. It looks really good looking stuff. Okay guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well, that was alright. Um, three of those samples yeah didn't have much in them but the fourth sample yeah that had some um, fine gold but there was a lot of it you could see it in the back of the pan when I panned it back you could see it all sitting back there with the black sand so I've kept it all it's all um, in the pan over behind me over here drying out once it's dried out I'll run the microscope over it I'll just show you all the gold and you'll see how that gold I'm, I'm picking has to be rough it, um, it's, I think it's broken out of the rock and it's, yeah, so that's it's probably going to be rough, spiky looking gold, maybe, yeah. So, thank you very much, uh, Greg and Michelle, uh, appreciate it guys, every time you've been out and you've come back you've always brought me stuff back, and um, yeah, I really appreciate it, thank you very much, thank you to all you guys that support my channel in one way or another, yeah, I really appreciate yours, cheers. Um, oh, I was gonna. I've, I've got some new stickers, guys. Got some new stickers um, printed out. I've got the bigger ones. I'll just give you a a closer look at me at my sticker. Yeah. So um, obviously I'll be giving one of these to to Greg and Michelle. I'll give them a couple. They can stick them on their fridge at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what I was going to say, um, if you want a sticker, yeah, just email me. Send me an email. Um, as long as there's not thousands of you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want a sticker for your fridge or whatever, just send me an email with your address and I'll post one out. As easy as that. Cheers. Thank you for watching my videos and supporting my my channel. I appreciate it, guys. I really do. And um, that last uh, video that I put up, where I found that new digging, I hope to return there. And I want to do a bit more digging. I want to expose that that quartz reef a bit more, uh, that vein, and break some of it out. And I just want to see if maybe there's some more mineralisation further back in that maybe the old time was left behind for me, yeah. Also, I'll take my Monster 1000 out there with me and I'll run the Monster over the quartz reef and also over the mullet pile. I'll, um, I'll really put in a bit of time there and just see if I can find something, yeah. Okay, guys, cheers. Take care out there, stay safe, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, Greg and Michelle.